Come on, get locked. Nice. Boom. Lockdown and boom. Woohoo! Instant kill. That's exactly what I wanted to do here with this setup. What's up, friends of the Good Moon? This is Money, and welcome to a video focusing on the lockdown and then killer here. The Spectre with three times Vortex and one time Corona, okay? Uh, the, the idea, of course, here is to lock down with a Corona and just absolute hammer on with the three Vortex to make a perfect hit against the enemy when he's most vulnerable and unable to move. All right, so this right here is a really good map to practice exactly what we want to do with this bad boy. So let's go lock down and kill right afterwards. I'm gonna make sure to drop his shield as soon as I can with these Vortex here. There it goes, okay. Shield is coming up. His shield is gone. So and we know what a Hellburner wants to do. We know that he's going to try to get us with his uh, explosion thing. So let's see if we can lock him down. And he's locked down, he is. Boom! What a big hit that was, guys. Perfect. He was locked down by the Corona, and now he got killed completely by our friends right here. Okay, he's locked down there too. Damn it, I made a mistake. I sent all my rockets at once. What I should have been doing instead would be to send one rocket at a time so that the shield gets dropped and then he takes damage. Unfortunately, I messed this up. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit of damage to that Spectre. He had his stealth used. It's not gonna use it in any uh, uh, any foreseeable future. A lockdown on him would have been very important. On that uh, on that help on that Mercury, a lockdown would have been so freaking important. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Oh, now yes. Okay, boom. Woohoo! Jeez, that was a lot of damage to that Mercury, man. That he survived that is just a, a really really rare thing. That should kill him. Nice, got him right in time. Okay, here he comes. Come on, get locked down, please. Locked down, locked down. Nice. And here we go. Boom. Wow. Perfect hit with maximum damage output there at this guy. A lockdown on him would have been awesome. But we... Oh, what? He did that little bit of damage he only took? How can this be? All right, guys, I've replaced the Corona with the Pulsar, as you see right here, so that we have a lockdown of 600 meters, right? So if I could lock him down, you know what? I'm firing anyways now. I did some damage to him. Uh, and he walks off. He, he activated his stealth, but he walked off the edge. That was weird. Uh, okay. Come on, get... Nice, he's locked down now. And here comes the death sentence. Boom! Bam! Full Spectre just eaten alive, man. I love it. All right, let's get this guy locked down if possible. Uh, it didn't work. Alright, let's do the same thing here on Castle. I think that many enemies will be walking over to the left side. I think my best position to be at would be the left side here up on the bridge because this is where many enemies will be hiding under uh, behind these uh, these things, you know. And um, yeah, I, I got him locked down but I won't be able to, uh, to reach him in time. So I need to just make use of what I have right now, which is just one, uh, one Pulsar at this point. But next time I get somebody locked down, I might be able to get him. There it is, and fire. That should be it. Boom! <laughs> oh no, I jumped way too far. I didn't mean to jump that far, dude. Uh-oh. Let's get back into cover if possible. Ooh, that was close. The Scourge, the Shock Train Specter came out and wanted something. Uh, my Pulsar is now reloading. But you see, even the stealth hasn't helped the Spectre not getting hit. Maybe the the weapons do have their own kind of lockdown. Uh, um, their own... Ah, now he's locked down, but I can no longer fire. Maybe these weapons have their own kind of uh, mechanism. So if you if you lock... If you activate stealth, uh, but you, you don't move one meter in the meantime, then maybe the result is you're gonna get fully hit. Let's see if that is gonna make a hit. A little bit. I got him a little bit there. Not too much, not too bad, but uh, just right, I would say. So he's locked down there too. And he also activated his stealth. So the Pulsar is a really good addition to this setup, I would say. Because you can do some quite some funny things with it. For example, I can drain this guy's shield right around the corner. I don't have I don't need to line of sight for it. And I can just drain him from right here. 
So he's coming closer. He wants to get in uh, in orc and weapon range. Boom. Okay. The other ones didn't really hit him because of the dash. But that's exactly why I have uh, the um, the pulsa on it. So that this is no longer my big problem, right? So now he's locked down and that should be perfect hits for him. Boom, boom. You see this? That was an Haichi. Haichi is a very hard to hit right with the uh, with the Vortex. But if you combine Lockdown with this, then you can really do it. Oh boy. I just sent a rocket into nowhere. Because there was some guys coming over here, I think. Yeah, he's coming right there. Okay. My Vortex somehow got him anyways. And even though I was unable to get this Haichi locked down right there... Um... I'm trying to retreat from him. Let's see if he's gonna... No, he's actually attempting to get the beacon there. That's what he's doing. And uh, if they get the beacon, that would be a bad problem for us. And I think he might actually get it. Because my reload of my weapon takes too long. Yup. They got this beacon now. So, uh, because I'm, I'm just a very, very weak... Uh, weak... S <laughs> I'm not a brawler. I'm more like a... A weird sniper dude or something. Alright, let's get this guy down. Boom. So we should hopefully get this beacon. I'm not sure. Nope, we're not. They are both double spawning on there. Alright, alright. So we need to come up with a plan in order to get this beacon back. Needs to be a good plan. So let's get this guy and the other guy at the same time. Boom. Both of them dead, but they will be respawning just in front of me. Right here. And I need my stealth ability to be able to protect myself from incoming damage. And uh, no, they have to defend beacons in both directions. That's their problem, you know. That's the problem they have to deal with. Are we alone here? Yes, we are. At the moment, we have this beacon now back under our control. The only reason we got this now is because we attacked on both beacons at the same time. And they couldn't, you know, protect both of them uh, simultaneously. So, let's try to get over here and deal some good damage to this Fury. I mean, I know I won't be able to reach him with the ability of, uh, of the Hell Drive explosion. But I can certainly do a lot of damage to him and just recharge my HP around the corner. And even do some corner shooting in the meantime. Get him locked down. Ah, uh, he jumps backwards. But maybe that gives us enough time to get this beacon. Because he jumped backwards, I can now protect myself from this by sitting right here. And if we are get a little bit lucky... Yup, we got it. We got this beacon now with this one attack run. That we have done. So, and since he already used his, uh, his stealth ability, he won't be able to get the beacon completely here. Come on, get locked down! Why does this guy not get locked down? Oh my god, how much he was... How long was he able to walk and not get locked down? That's insane. Uh, we got each other at the same time. Nice. Okay. Dude, but the fact that he just wasn't getting locked down was really frustrating right there. Three lockdown weapons, you know, punched the crap out of him. And he's absolutely ignoring all of that. Wow, not getting any lockdown at all. Well, we took, not only did we take back our beacon, we also took, took their beacons now. Nice. Oh my god, is this thing slow. How slow is this thing? I need to look. Alright, so we're back on bridge right here. We still have the same range, the same everything. We can lock this guy down there. And now, he, okay, he's, he's, he's got his stealth active. Wow, that was a monstrous hit against that Komiho sitting behind that castle rock there. Nice. So far, so good. Let's get one big one into this specter. Boom, and he's toast. All right, nice one, nice one. So far, they, they felt they felt pretty safe and confident there uh, with their stuff, but you know, it turns out they aren't safe at all from from damage from here, right? So let's get this one, if possible. Up, 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 and there he goes. Nice. 
Cool. Getting him a lockdown would be cool. Yep, he is. But the problem is, he's got the range at weapon. But since my buddy was taking care of it and aiming him on, he's still dead now, or almost dead. Very little HP left on these guys. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Almost destroyed here. Uh oh, I need to get away from this thing. Because you can actually blast through the uh, through this door for some weird reason. I don't know why, but you can do it. Okay, and he's j doing his jump again. I'm gonna make use of the fact that I can run over here. Um, and lock this guy. Oh, wait a minute. That was a... Aww! What is this? I kept him out of 350 meters range. A lag happens. He's somehow 220 uh, meters closer to me. And he's in range and kills me. Wonderful. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, lag. Yup, it is a Kamiho. And in order to have a chance against him here, we need to lock him down. Which we just did. So, five, three, two, one, and he was already again in the move, and that was it. That's Thank it. you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.